Hey guys, this is your third and last video on subject verb agreement. In this lesson, we will be discussing problem number three, which deals with compound subjects. First, you have to know what a compound subject is. A compound subject is two or more, let's write this down, two or more subjects joined by a conjunction, okay? So you have two rules. If the compound subjects are joined by the conjunction and, then you're always going to take the plural verb, okay? It's always plural. Let's look at the first example. Fred and Velma, because it's joined by and, you're always going to pick the plural verb, which would be are. Fred and Velma are in the van. The next sentence says, Scooby and the gang was or were looking for the villain. Because Scooby and the gang are joined by and, we're going to take the plural verb were. Okay, easy peasy. Nothing really to know there, but just look for the conjunction and, and choose the plural verb. Now, when your compound subject is joined by or, there's a different rule. You have to look at the subject closest to the verb, and you must memorize this. Or is look at the subject closest to the verb. It's always the last subject, okay? We can put that in parentheses. Maybe that will help you. The last subject. In your, um, if you have two or if you have a list possibly, then you would look at the last subject. So in this sentence, either Fred or Velma runs or run to the van because it's joined by or, we just look at Velma. Because Velma is a singular noun, we're gonna choose the singular verb runs. So we would say either Fred or Velma runs to the van. In the second sentence, the police officers or Scooby traps or trap the villain. Now remember this is or, it's not and. So we have to look at the subject closest to the verb. And that's gonna be Scooby. Scooby is singular, so we're going to choose the singular verb, traps. The police officers or Scooby traps the villain. And then in the last sentence, it's just we have flipped the location of the subjects. We put Scooby first and then the police officers. So you could see how this would affect your verb choice. Let's mark that. Let's highlight that one so you can remember which one we chose there. Um, and then this was what we looked at to make that choice. Scooby traps. If it's joined by or, we have to look at the subject closest to the verb. Let's make that blue. Officers is plural, so we have to choose the plural verb, trap. Okay, that is the difference. Now, this is just with compound subjects. Don't get this confused with any kind of object of the preposition. All of these rules are different and they're in different situations. So make sure that you understand that these rules are for compound subjects. Okay? Joined by and is always plural. Joined by or, you have to look at the subject closest to the verb. And then that subject would determine whether you have a singular verb or a plural verb. Scooby singular, singular verb. Officers plural, plural verb. Okay, we will practice, practice, practice. Uh, feel free to come back to this video and the other videos as often as possible. All right, memorize these rules and we are done. Good job.